Hello, and welcome to this development update video. So uh, in this video I want to talk about two things that are currently or recently have happened or are happening, whatever. The first thing, first thing is um, the lack of updates. I know some people might be wondering uh, why the game hasn't been up updated in a week. And some others might think like, what, it didn't update, who cares? Anyway, so I wanted to update, but uh, I have recently updated the game to the newest uh, Unreal Engine version, which came out, uh, I guess, last week or something. Don't, don't hit me, I'm talking. And um, there were some issues uh, and the game didn't launch anymore. So uh, I had to resolve these issues. Uh, as you can see right now, I can uh, play the game again. So everything is now fine again. You know, it didn't really break anything, but um, there was just uh, a few like um, file reference issues, I guess, that are now resolved. And uh, now we can go on with, uh, you know, updating the game and uh, adding more content and stuff. So I wanted to make a new room layout for the apartments and stuff, so, um, you know, I don't have to, you know, worry about uh, the game not running anymore, so I can, you know, go back to adding more stuff, which is always nice. I really like, like, like you know, sitting down and designing new room layouts and stuff. Anyway, so th there's two things I want to show you in this video. First thing is the pistol. Uh, I know a lot of people um, think of the pistol like some kind of, like, you know, go-to weapon if the shotgun is running out of ammo, but uh, I wanted to have the pistol as uh, another reliable um, weapon that is uh, also, you know, a lot of fun to use. So I've added... <laughs> You've already seen this little effect. Um, you know, there was always a critical, a chance to critically hit with a pistol, but it so far it didn't have any visuals or any you know, like sound effects or anything attached to it, so when you hit something critically it was just looking like normal. But now, as you might have heard, every time you critically hit someone, something, uh, it makes like this splash sound, like this blood splat effect sound and uh, a, lot of, a lot of blood is flying through the screen like that. Which is really awesome, I like it a lot. And it makes the pistol a lot, a lot more fun to use, I think. Um, because r before this, um, people were asking like, um, are there hit zones in the game? Like, can I do headshots and stuff? But I don't think that headshots would be, you know, a good gameplay mechanic in this game. Because I think the, the animations of the monsters and also the look of the monsters is so strange and uh, abnormal that it's really hard to to get your shots right to got, get your shots straight to the, to the to the head all the time so there's just a basic uh, chance to critically hit with a pistol the shotgun doesn't have that but the pistol does and uh, i don't know now it makes an uh, blood a big blood splat when you hit an enemy critically and also like you know as you've heard <laughs> Awesome blood splat effect. I really like them. I don't know. So yeah, this is the pistol. It's updated now. Um, yeah, the critical hits are not new, but people were confused. Like sometimes the pistol did a lot of damage, and sometimes you know, sometimes you can one shot a cutter, and sometimes it takes like one million hits, and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this weapon? What the balls, man? Chill down, chill out, calm down, whatever. And the second thing I want to show you, you are probably interested in this because I will put it in the, the description of the, uh, the title of the video. Yes, the submachine. The submachine pistol? No. The silenced machine pistol. You know, I want to call it the Uzi, but I don't really know if Uzi is a trademarked, like, name, weapon name from, I think, IMI. Die! Oh, yes! Die everything! I really, really like this weapon. Um, it has two fire modes. The first... Uh, right now, you can see on the HUD, I don't have any ammo. Uh, I just basically gave me infinite ammo to test the weapon. And there's currently nothing to visualize any weapon ammo, but you have a lot of ammo in your magazine. In your clip. 
shoot. It's kind of inaccurate, but kind of accurate. And you have two, two weapon modes, two fire modes. The first is the left mouse button is quite accurate, as you can see. Well, hello. You know, you can pause shooting to stay centered with the accuracy. And there's the right mouse button, which just shoots basically all over the place but you deal a lot of damage and also you you um, shoot twice the ammo that you would normally do. The damage is not different but um, you will notice the difference because you shoot twice as much so basically you deal twice as much damage. And yeah this is the sub silence machine pistol. Uh, as I've said I don't know if I can call it Uzi but I would do it if I have to check it out um, but I'm pretty sure it's a trademarked word, trademarked uh, name. Holy shit, look at this weapon. This is amazing. I really love this. Die! Fucking awesome. Also there are no restrictions so I can use the shotgun and then switch, uh, switch to my pistol and switch to my everything, you know. You don't, you can carry all weapons at all times, so. So I think this is a really really cool uh, gameplay enhancement. Keep up frame rate. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm currently trying out this weapon uh, on myself, like, like testing it, balancing it. I have to test it with the netcode if uh, the game... nice ambulance there. Anyway, uh, I have to test the weapon in multiplayer uh, to see if there's lag or something, because, you know, you shoot a lot of bullets and I don't want this to be, like, causing lag or something. So I have to test this a little bit more and yeah, I can tell you, maybe you're probably seeing it, it's a lot of fun to, to use uh, so far and um, yeah, I will balance this a little bit more. As you can see on the bottom there's three white squares with zeros in it, so uh, basically this means that there are currently no weapon mods for this weapon. If I would take a weapon mod, the game would basically say like... Um, I give you something for the pistol because I don't know what weapon you have. Uh, because this weapon is currently not... You know, weapon mods do not exist for this weapon, so the game doesn't really know what to give me, so it gives me something else, like shotgun mods. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the update. I will currently... Um, I'm currently working on more stuff uh, for this update. You know, the content update with uh, the hospital, like the lobotomy clinic. Not sure if I want to call it that. I think the name's pretty cool, but maybe I will change it. But uh, yeah, um, if there is more to show you guys, I will make another video probably in a week or or maybe in two weeks. I, get, I don't know. Probably one week. Maybe two. Anyway, I'm running again. Goddamn. Anyway, so yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, the Uzi or the submachine pistol. What? Silence machine pistol. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we'll polish it up, make weapon mods and everything, so uh, you can expect it in the content update in October. You could play with it for yourself. But yeah, so far it's a lot of fun. Die! What? Die everything! Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.